Cucumber. No wait, but a fruit though. Is cucumber a fruit? Isn't cucumber a vegetable? Oh yeah. <laughs> favorite Japanese snacks. Okay, there's this snack mm -hmm. that it doesn't have a name. It has this seafood taste. Oh. I will show you the picture here. I have two favorite snacks. Number one is uh, the jelly kororo thing. Yes! It oh was yes. amazing. Right, so and then the second one is the chewy fish snack. Yeah. There's two strips of the fish thing mm. and then together and then in between is cheese. Wow! Wow, Sounds it's good damn nice eh. Okay, I'm very mainstream so I like the white chocolate biscuit, you know the square one. Tokyo banana. Okay, you know there's this like flat pinkish prawn cracker. Then somehow like whenever you eat it, it gets stuck to your lips. And when you take it out, your skin just comes off with it. <laughs> why why would we eat such thing? What are some unique Japanese snacks that you have ever tried? I realized that Japan they have a lot of vending machines, right? They have a lot of flavored drinks which are actually like transparent. Japanese got like those salty sweets. Which is like, huh, why would you come with this kind of flavors, right? But then they, mm. they, they end up making it work. And they have savory ones also. My friend gave me this small packet and inside is dried scallop. Recently, some of our producers visited Tokyo and chanced upon unique flavoured Japanese snacks. So we decided to bring back some and try. So we'll be trying out 5 different kinds of unique Japanese snacks. Yeah! Chips. It looks like any normal chips. This one Singapore also has it. It smells a bit like lemon, a bit of citrus. Oh, okay, I'm, I know. It smells like xiang cai. Okay, the look of it, right, just looks like a regular potato chip yeah. with some green beets. What, green man? Super dark oh. green. It looks like seaweed. Okay. Okay, the taste of it is quite strong. Eh. It's just parsley. It's just parsley. Yeah. Eh. First, it tastes salty because I mean it's a potato chip. But then towards the end, you'll taste something like a, a pretty like tangy kind of taste. And what is it? Is it lemon? Can give you a clue. There's a herb and there's a fruit. The first one is parsley. Two. And parsley and tomato. Is it parsley and cucumber? Lemon vinegar. Salt and vinegar. <laughs> It's actually coriander with lemon chips. Oh, no one I, mean, I got a lemon right at least. <laughs> oh, it's not refreshing or so. Yeah. I wouldn't have yeah. guessed. Ah! It's like they dusted some pink powder over, over these chips here. Yeah. Is it sakura? So this look like the sakura petals. Floating down, and then we can take a nice Instagram picture. It really smells like flowers. Eh. E e. Right. E like, the it's the <laughs> siap siap flower. It's not even like the oh, a yeah. rose smells sweet. No, it's not. Oh, it smells like you know this red candy you eat during Christmas. The red, white, red, white one. Yeah, it smells like that. I think this look more appetizing than the other one. This just. It tastes like usual. The aftertaste. It's sweet and sour in the beginning, but towards the end, it's really just like completely sour. Oh, mm, oh, the aftertaste is not nice. It's very sour. You, you know, like Roselle tea when you buy bubble tea, there's yeah. this pink drink that I used to like. It tastes a bit like that. It just tastes sour to me. So I'm gonna go with a sour fruit that is sort of pink. Peach. Oh, 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 I know. Mm. I'll give you a hint. It's this color pink. Pink fruit. Wait, I don't like any pink fruit. Dragon fruit! Plum is pink? Peach. Plum. These are plum flavored oh. chips. Oh my god, I'm correct. No, but as much as it's a fruit, it tastes very preserved. It reminds me more of the Japanese pickles instead of like plum. Oh my god! Oh I love this my kind god! Of Yes. Is this slushy? This is the one I'm talking about! Didn't this just come out? I saw like the news report or something, or something mm. like this. But the fact that the packaging is like that, yeah. it reminds me of childhood. But I'm just wondering like, how interesting can you get? It's just like, you know, your normal coke. Then you just put a slice of lemon. It will still taste like coke. I feel like I love it already. Eh? Yeah, same. It's not as nice as I thought. Yeah. <laughs> it really is not as nice as I thought it would be. Yeah, no, just it. Coke without the gas and a little bit of lemon. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like Coke that you left out for like 
very, very, very long. It's not fizzy at all. Okay, it's a bit too sweet. The ice didn't come out. Correct. Maybe we're doing it wrong. We're doing it wrong. You have to start like a straw. Oh, like a straw? Yeah. Mmm! Then the ice come out. Ah. Oh, is that it? Okay, it's so much nicer now. Mmm. Yeah. Nice! I like this. We did it right. You know what? It's just like... If you don't like fizzy coke, right? Then you get this. Oh! Oh, I've never seen this! Tokyo Milk Cheese Factory. Is this the one where they have an outlet of uh, ice cream in Singapore? Correct. But okay, if you look at the biscuit, right? There's like dots on it. Okay, wait. You know what this smells like? Oh, you took out a biscuit. Like those chicken biscuit from our childhood. Just look at this. You can still see like it's really like a slice of cheese sandwiched in between two. Oh yeah, they, they look relatively healthy, right? Yeah, it looks because quite of like the specks of grey. Mm. Okay, cheers. Yeah. Ding. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's why you need to eat in one mouth, yeah? Mm. Hmm? Now the biscuit alone is very sweet, but maybe because cheese is usually more towards the tart side. So when you eat both of them together, it's like sweet and like tangy, that kind of taste. Yeah, which I think goes pretty well together. The middle one tastes like cheese and white chocolate. Of course it's a bit sweet. It's mm. not like fully savoury, like mm. the cheese that we are familiar with. I know! The biscuit though. Like mushroom. mushroom. White chocolate cheese. Fun is correct. Yes! Are you serious? Yeah. It's mushroom! Prawn! It's actually mushroom flavour. Now you say yeah, it tastes a little bit like mushroom. It's that familiar but I just don't know what it is. Yeah, I can feel like the mushroomy aroma. La. Yeah, it's mm. very earthy, very dense. Oh, Kit Kats! Have you heard of these flavours before? I've heard of sweet potato. My father bought back before, but butter never eh. <laughs> it looks like white chocolate actually. Yep. Oh, it just smells like white chocolate as well. Oh, oh, but it's very milky. Yeah, it smells like milk powder. Okay, let's try it. Like I feel like if you like milk, you will like this. Because the milk taste is like, woo! Yeah, it's super strong. So damn strong, man. I can imagine the cow looking at me. All I taste is white chocolate. The butter taste is very subtle. Thanks. Let's try the other one. Okay, let's try the other one. Oh my god, it's purple. Ooh, it's a nice smell. It's so fragrant. Sweet, yeah. It's like drinking sweet potato milk tea, 100% sugar. <laughs> this flavor really stood out like crazy. Eh? Very fragrant, uh, the, yeah. The potato. It has this additional chart flavor, mm. which is very, very nice. Nice, eh. nice. Yeah, I would buy this, but it's slightly less sweet, would be good. Mm. So, what do you think of these Japanese snacks? Okay, when I first hear the flavors of it, I thought it was wow, it's pretty unique. Mm. It's like a very interesting concept. But then, taste wise, after I eat it, it's not exactly very mind blowing. They are very bold in their flavor. So it's like something you cannot find in Singapore. The mushroom one really surprised me. Because, yeah. like, who would have thought, right? Put mushroom and cheese into mm. a biscuit. Yeah. Wow, but it's so nice, eh? Um, I think for me, some flavors work, some flavors. Did not <laughs> <laughs> like for example the coriander lemon yeah, like yeah. where is the lemon the coriander is just like uh, exploding in my mouth but some of the flavors like purple sweet potato Kit Kat that is crazy that's really impressive eh, because you can really taste the sweet potato mm. taste in that so which of these do you recommend oh the butter Kit Kat <laughs> and the plum chip for people who like sour stuff right I think like the sour plum one is like very special it's like very refreshing. For me, I recommend both the Kit Kat, the butter flavour, mm. right? It reminds you of a very familiar local flavour, mm. like with your butter and the sugar toast. toast. Yeah. yeah. As for sweet potato, if you are a really huge fan of sweet potato, I really think you all should get this. The aroma, the fragrance, the taste, it's really quite on point. Mushroom cheese biscuit. Because mm. like, yeah, really damn nice. Eh? I would buy it that one again, definitely. If I'm in Tokyo, I would buy the purple sweet potato one. Thanks for watching this episode of Taste Testers. If you'd like to watch more videos, you can click over there. And as always, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye! Bye. <laughs>